How are you achievers doing today? I'm going to continue from yesterday's Facebook Live. Um, and today is about the second attachment, the most powerful attachment. That if anyone knows this or is aware of this, then they're able to achieve so much more and be able to control uh, life. But before I get to that, I want to tell a quick story. It's a story about a, a monk and a monk who had many students. And this monk, he wanted to teach his students a valuable lesson. And so he decided that he would go on a small journey with them, go for a walk. As they were walking and they were talking, they saw a lady who was screaming and shouting and crying on the side of the road. She wanted to cross a river and there's no way to get across because the bridge had, been, had fallen. Now, monks aren't meant to touch women. Those monks aren't meant to. However, the teacher went over and helped the lady. He lifted her up on her shoulders and carried her over the river. The teacher being all damp, wet, soaking, soaking wet, the lady just so didn't even say thank you. She just went, oh, and just walked off. Now the students were very confused. The students thought the teacher had told them that we're not allowed to touch women. And all of a sudden the teacher has become a hypocrite. And he's touching women, carrying them on the shoulders. They started to walk. The teacher walked in silence. He didn't say anything. For two hours, they carried on walking in silence. Now the students' minds were working, constantly thinking, having doubt about their teacher, having doubt about everything he spoke about, getting angry, holding on to this anger, and, and, and getting more and more infuriated until after two hours, one of the students spoke up. And he shouted, teacher, you're a hypocrite. You tell us we're not allowed to touch women and you carried that lady over that river. And this is when the teacher smiled and he said, I only carried her over the river for about 10 seconds. You've been carrying her in your mind for the past two hours. You've been attached to your emotions of anger and that has allowed doubt in your mind and that has put you in a spiral downwards to the point where you've decided to speak up, which is good to speak up, but not in anger. So don't be attached to your anger. And so <clears throat> the moral of the story, and it's a very, very powerful moral, is a second attachment. Uh, the second attachment, the first attachment is attachment to uh, physical, physical um, materials. The second attachment is to ideas and emotions. Now, when I say if we can control this, then we can achieve anything. If we attach ourselves to anger, jealousy, greed, um, all the negative emotions, and we attach the idea of it in our head and carry it constantly with us, it will grow more and more. And all of a sudden what happens is you unearth all of the negative buried stuff that's underneath the ground and it all comes up and, and gets into your mind and controls you but at any time just like that student he could have let go of the lady in his head the one he was carrying for the last two hours he could have let go of her at any time but he just wasn't aware of it once the teacher had made him aware of it that's when he let go and he felt ashamed we should attach ourselves to happiness, joy, love. That, those are the 
emotions that we should be attached to. But don't be attached to the negative emotions. Anger is the biggest one. Sad, sadness, greed, jealousy is, a, is another big one. Just have to just let it go and attach yourselves to the good emotions, but also attach yourselves to good ideas. Because all of this is in the mental world. The, the, the two worlds that I spoke about in my, my other video, it links in perfectly. The physical world has physical material possessions that we get attached to. The mental world that we are in, that has this concept, the most powerful concept. Because what goes on here is created through here and we choose what we want to experience in life. Just like how I mentioned before, you go up to a buffet line and you see all the food that's there and you've got a choice. You've got a choice of either picking up, un picking up healthy food or picking up unhealthy food. And whichever decision you make, you're gonna get energy or leth lethargy. And that's where I am gonna finish off. Um, and it's just something for us to think about. Um, we, what are we attached to at the moment? Now, the physical, in the physical world, we want to be attached to items that we've achieved, but not in a negative way. But in the mental world, what are we holding on to? What angers are we holding on to? Who's done something bad to us many weeks or years ago that we're still carrying in our head? Who has something that we would want and we're jealous and we're holding on to that jealousy? Just an idea. Have a great day, Achievers. Bye.